Maybe this is heaven, maybe that's just you I don't trust my judgment cause I'm just 22 When my tears run in circles, my heart is out in the rain I know that this is sudden, but do you feel the same? For breakfast, I'm going to be making a colorful smoothie bowl. I'm using one frozen banana, a scant cup of frozen pineapple and frozen mango, and then one cup of dragon fruit. I'm using a quarter cup of plant milk. And the key to making a really thick smoothie bowl is a very small amount of milk and allowing the fruit to defrost a little bit before you start to blend. I'm topping this with some blueberries, some bananas, a little bit of grapes, and some coconut flakes. But of course, make this your own, and whatever you've got on hand, I'm sure will taste amazing. Good morning, you guys. I'm in a park. <laughs> um, welcome back to another video. Some of you have expressed to learn a little bit more about like if you're interested in doing kind of a detox or a short period of raw. So I thought that I would share a little bit of that in this what I eat video. And with the things that I'm gonna eat today, I'm gonna share with you some ideas. If, if you have no interest in eating completely raw foods and you wanna have some cooked options, I'll give you some suggestions on what you can include. So I'm here at the park with my family. So let me go hang out with my family. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you at the next meal. I'm going to be making some veggie stuffed spring rolls with a spicy peanut butter dipping sauce and to me when it comes to eating healthy it's very important to have like an arsenal of dressings dips and sauces that you can go to so you know just to mix it up and not be bored so this is a sauce that I made over the weekend I shared um, on Instagram a little bit how I made it and a lot of you guys were asking about the recipe for the sauce as well as how to do the rice paper rolls so that they don't get all gummy and gross now before anybody says rice paper rolls aren't raw listen I'm going for progress and not perfection. And so I guess I'm just sharing this with you to let you know that I am kind of finding my footing as well. Maybe you're brand new to whole food plant-based and you're still trying to find your footing. You know, it just happens a little bit at a time. So be gentle with yourself and have the freedom to, you know, try things out and say, I like that, I don't like that. And now I'm just building my repertoire of things that are gonna work for me that I'm gonna be able to go to when I really don't know what to make, I can make these. Okay, let's get into these spring rolls. You dare sweet delight. First up, I'm going to be making the peanut dipping sauce. I'm adding lime, garlic, ginger, rice vinegar, soy sauce, maple syrup, peanut butter, and a little bit of water to thin. And then, of course, if you'd like, you can add some chili flakes here. Um, but if you don't want it spicy, don't add those. All of this is just going into the blender, but of course, you could whisk it by hand if you'd like. It's just going to be a little bit lumpier. And just like you knew we were meant to unite. Now I'm just chopping my veggies that I'm gonna put into the spring rolls. And these are really versatile because if you just think about it as your spring roll is essentially a salad, you can put whatever veggies inside that you would like. I'm using a combo of greens, red bell pepper, cucumber, red cabbage, broccoli slaw, carrot, cilantro, green onion, and a little bit of serrano pepper. When first sweet delectable you burst into my life I hit now to assemble the spring rolls, I am filling a large mixing bowl with very warm water, enough to submerge the rice paper. And I'm letting the rice paper wrapper stay in the water for about 15 seconds. You want it to be pliable, but not floppy or not stiff. Your way around my fear. 
and then slowly and with care lay it flat on the towel so you don't rip it and begin to fill it with your desired fillings. If you leave about an inch open around the rice paper edges, then you have enough space and you'll ensure that you don't rip it. I can't believe it. Then you just fold it away from you like a burrito and you tuck in the sides before the final roll up is made. Keep repeating this step until you've used all of your ingredients. And then just keep experimenting. The first time you do this, they're gonna look like a hot mess, but <laughs> the better you get at doing it, the better they will look. Now we go where this delectable wind blows. We reap the happiness we sowed with the nourishing love. Okay, so essentially I think a really good metaphor for these spring roll wraps is that you have to treat them like a lady. You need to roll them slow. You need to give them plenty of time, up to 15 seconds in the warm water so that they don't get gummy and you slow and steady wins the race so that they don't break. Gentle and loving to your spring rolls just like you treat a lady. Mm, it's beautiful. Mm. All right, you guys, so it's dinner time and I'm going to make a raw soup in my Vitamix. I'm gonna do something with mushrooms and kind of like a miso-ish soup. Miso is actually raw and I love making soups in a Vitamix because you can heat them up and they can be warm to the taste and to the touch, but they're technically not destroying any of the enzymes. So it's a great option if you are trying to eat raw food um, to have something kind of still warm that is satisfying and comforting. I love using the Vitamix to make soups and I have another really great recipe in my free ebook called called Plant Based Life. You can get it on my website. It's a quick tomato soup. It's so, so delicious and satisfying. We eat that all the time. But this soup I'm gonna make, I'm gonna have probably some greens on the side just to get that volume in. You know, when you're eating raw food, it's like you really have to eat a lot. I have to really be conscious of getting enough in, which is kind of refreshing and nice because, you know, you're not thinking about depriving yourself. You're having as much volume as you can. It's just these foods are so low in calories that you're able to eat a lot. So let's get in into this miso mushroomy soup. I gotta call it something a little bit more catchy than that. First thing I'm doing is soaking some cashews. I actually did this around lunchtime, so just make sure that you soak them, set them aside a little bit ahead of time, at least an hour if you can. Now I'm just chopping up some mushrooms and I'm gonna put them in a little marinade. Chopping up my cilantro and my green onion so I don't have to come back to the cutting board later. For the mushroom marinade, I'm using about a cup and a half of Baby Bella mushrooms, but you could really use any mushrooms that you like. The juice of two limes, some soy sauce, and some water to just thin it out. I'm setting them aside for about 30 minutes and then just stirring occasionally. In a high-speed blender, I'm placing some chickpea miso, the soaked and drained raw cashews, a tablespoon of maple syrup, and four cups of hot water. Never got this far before and do Okay, so stick with me. So basically what I just did was make a miso soup in the blender with some cashews. So now it's a creamy miso soup. The reason I did that was so that I would not have any lumps of miso. Now I'm going to take all of these marinated mushrooms and I'm gonna put them into the miso soup. So that's gonna provide flavor there. And then I'm gonna garnish it with a lot of fresh. Now, trust me guys, this is so good. Okay, and here is the final product. I had a little meltdown with Naya, so I had to stop uh, before I tasted this while it was still warm, but I'm sure it still tastes good. Look at that. Combining all of that together, this looks so creamy and good. Oh my gosh, I'm salivating. All right, let me get a taste of everything in there. 
this is really good. <laughs> I think it would be amazing with some ramen noodles. Maybe I lost some of you, but trust me when I say, if you like my recipes, you will like this. This is very, very good. I think you could use um, a variety of different kind of mushrooms. I just used baby Bella because that's what I had, but um, a shiitake or like some oyster mushrooms would taste really good. This is way, way creamy and I'm so glad I put it in the blender. If you don't have a high speed blender, I think this would be fine in a regular blender or you could whisk it by hand, but it's gonna be a little bit lumpy. But if you wanna make this not raw, what I would do is exactly what I did, but then add in, you know, cook some ramen noodles beforehand and throw those in. This is very, very good. I think you guys will like it. Okay, you guys, so that is what I ate today. Lots of fruits and vegetables in there. As usual, I will put the recipes down in the description box for you guys to try out and truly make them your own. And in the full recipe breakdown, I'll make sure that I give you guys some suggestions of what you could put in addition to the raw meals to make them just really scrumptious, whole food, plant-based meals. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I've got some new topics of videos coming out for you guys, so make sure you are subscribed and stay tuned. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Cause I am not the same. Cause I am my world's been changed.